What's up guys? Today's video is going to be all about learning code for beginners. Whether you're just a beginner coder or someone with a little bit of background in coding looking to refine their skills to jump into baseball analytics, this video is the place to be. You may be like me when I first started learning about baseball analytics. Interested in learning code, but I had zero experience doing so, and no idea where to begin. Utilizing the tools in today's video, I promise you that you will be able to find a way to become proficient in analyzing baseball data. The way today's data is collected through TrackMan and other devices, the most common output for all of that is going to be information in some sort of data table, whether that's a CSV, which looks a lot like an Excel sheet, or an online database, it all comes in about the same form, a whole lot of numbers. Now, the numbers are great and very important and impressive on their own, but what teams are looking for are people who can make sense of these numbers, make them tell a story, visually or otherwise. Not everybody has the time to get their hands dirty and learn what all of this stuff means, but I'm here to tell you that it's not as daunting of a task as you may think. I have two recommendations today on how you can go from knowing absolutely nothing about coding to having a basic grasp on how to dissect baseball data into more bite-sized pieces for a general audience. My first recommendation is to purchase and read the book Analyzing Baseball Data with R. It's an easy to follow, step-by-step -step tutorial on how to hop into R with little understanding and begin to write out the code that actually produces some very helpful graphics. It has explanations about what you're creating and why it matters, then the exact line of code you need to make that happen, and pictures to show you what you're creating. I believe there's no better place to get started than with this book, and you can get it for about $35 to $55, depending on if you get the digital version or a hard copy. So don't hesitate, go check this book out, there's a link down in the description. My next recommendation is utilizing a site called Datacamp. This is a very similar style of learning, but it's set up for a more general audience on learning how to code, and it's not just through R. Datacamp uses a mock interface of the coding softwares you will be jumping into on your own, and provides you with an opportunity to type out the code on your own while providing real-time feedback and suggestions as you learn. It has ranges of difficulty from beginner to more advanced challenges, and they even have an app on your phone so you can practice on the go. There's no reason not to check it out if you're thinking about getting into this new age style of baseball. Each lesson has some sort of general goal, and you can gain access to several free lessons just from signing up for an account. You even gain access to the first chapter of all of their premium content without having to put in any information other than your email. It can't hurt you to sign up, so go check it out. These two tools are relatively inexpensive and provide you with the skills you need to maneuver your way through complicated coding software. This is a skill that is being sought after in major league front offices everywhere, so do yourself a favor and start learning. And at the end of the day, this skill is just another tool to add to the Saber Hero toolkit. So if you liked today's video, please leave a like, click the video on the top right if you'd like to see more of my content, and subscribe for more weekly baseball animations posted every Tuesday.